Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and a visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Hey, I want to thank you guys for staying with me while I took a break. Hopefully you loved my Najee music and I'm moving on. Now, you guys told me that you would love a safe uh, app that allows you to find a mate. Well, I went and found the best people that I know. I've got Bumble here. They're going to tell us some ways for you guys to date on an app. Claire O'Connor, she's the head of editorial content at Bumble, and she at Bumble, she has some insight, you know, on this popular online dating app. Claire, Happy New Year's. Happy New Year. Thank you so much for having me. Well, Claire, tell me about, getting, for those people that may not know, give me a little bit about Bumble. Sure. So Bumble is a dating app, but what sets us apart is that in a heterosexual match, women make the first move. Um, they send the first message. And what we've really found is that sets the stakes for equity from the start. Um, we really build respect right in there. Um, and we just want to make sure that uh, folks feel safe, um, you know, and feel like this is a place where you can really explore what kind of relationship you want. And I think this past year, more than any, we've seen folks being really intentional and taking time to think about what it is they're looking for. So tell me about this, this term, new dawn daters, daters, along with the pandemic. What does that mean? Yeah, that's a term we coined um, after doing some research. We found that a whopping one in four members of our community um, are actually getting back onto Bumble newly single after having broken up with someone during the pandemic. And you can only imagine um, whether it was folks who were actually physically separated from a partner during the lockdown or whether it was a situation where, you know, someone found themselves 24 seven with somebody and then realized maybe this person's not for me. So we have a lot of folks who are back on Bumble for the first time in a long time um, and really, you know, putting themselves out there in 2021. And really it seems doing so with optimism. When they're coming back out there, what are they looking for? You know, it's interesting you ask that. Um, well, first of all, what we've really found interesting is that uh, 56% of folks on Bumble uh, tell us they think that 2021 is their year to find love, which we think is really wonderful coming out of what has been a very tough year for a lot of us. Um, but it's kind of split down the middle, and I think it really speaks to the ongoing uncertainty of COVID. We've got about half our community saying that they're looking for something serious, and about half say they're looking for something casual. That's really interesting because I told you I put out a, a social media post on all the social media platforms and my audience is made of baby boomers. And, you know, that's people born between 1946 and 1964 and they want to get on the app. Do you have people those ages on your app? Oh, my gosh. We sure do. We have, you know, everyone <laughs> from uh, Gen Z up through uh, my founder's grandfather in his 80s. Uh, so really, this is for all age groups. And we found a lot of folks, you know, finding that love after divorce or, you know, being empty nesters finally and having some time for themselves to really think about what it is that they are looking for. I found that hilarious. You know, they can't make their appointment for the COVID vaccine, but they can get on Bumble, they told me. So that says a lot for you guys. Well, we hope they can find both. <laughs> I do too. Okay, so uh, you guys say Tiffany Haddish is on Bumble. Who are the the kind of people that come to Bumble once again? You know, so Tiffany Haddish is someone that we've worked with closely. Um, and if your audience wants to head over to uh, Bumble's YouTube, they can find some great dating advice from Tiffany and some of our the other celebs and talent we've worked with. But we really have folks from all walks of life on Bumble. Uh, I think that's what makes it really special. We have folks from all across the gender spectrum, ages, different backgrounds. Um, and we're really hoping that, you know, with a little more time on our hands still, you know, the pandemic's not over just because we want it to be. Um, you know, there, there might be the time that you'd usually be out to dinner with friends, now you're probably home and you have time to really sit and think what you want to say about yourself on Bumble, what you want to say in your bio, what kind of photos you want to put up there that say something about yourself. Okay. I've got a question or a statement from uh, Instagram and the poster says they know you from being a writer at Forbes magazine. Are you on Bumble? I don't know if they're asking for a date or what, but that's what it says. 
Wow, I did used to work at Forbes for years. <laughs> I'm not a Bumble. I have a long term partner, but that is very flattering. I hope this person will get on Bumble and find lots of other folks. There's so many fish in the sea. Well, I'm sorry you come on the Valder BB show to get hit on, but I thank you for being my guest. Where do they go to sign up? Get the free app. What do they do? You know what? Download Bumble on the App Store or Google Play, really anywhere you'd go to get uh, an app. And then you can also go to bumble.com slash dating guide. We've put together a very comprehensive digital guide on dating in 2021 during the pandemic. All right. I think you guys are going to get lots of business with this pandemic. So I'm hoping, you know, we think, you know, 2021 is going to be a good year. Claire O'Connor, thank you so much for being here. And thank you for the great questions. You guys love those questions about dating. Thanks, Claire. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.